The new update has dropped here on the private test server, which is going to be the really in the stars update. There's going to be essentially two things of this update. I will just briefly explain everything. I will leave a link in the description down below for you to check out the patch notes. So what I'm going to be doing is I will be just explaining essentially everything related to the mechanics on or how to get essentially all of the new stuff in this update. So strap yourself in because this is going to be an unscripted rambly commentary because as of right now that I'm recording we're getting ahead right now by uh, Tropical Storm Nicole. So yeah, I'm doing this recording mid Tropical Storm. Anyways, so let's just start talking about one of the first two things in regarding to this update. The first thing that I will be just essentially talking about is going to be everything with the Celestial, Celestial Sphere, the Star Shard, whatnot. And the second part is going to be the fishing, something that literally everyone totally asks. Anyway, so let's start talking about the, the Star Shard. So the Star Shard is going to be a grid system that is going to be account based. Uh, if you do unlock some of the things right here, uh, it is going to give you this stats across all of your accounts. So all of your characters are going to receive the same stats. There's going to be two different nodes. There's going to be the path unlocker or the major node and there's going to be the minor node or the end the stat increase the minor increase in stats are going to be obviously stat increase across the board flash capacity jump and all that good stuff you can have up to a maximum of 40 of these at the same time because you can only get 40 celestial sphere which you get them right here in the celestials merchant which costs astral echoes astral echoes is a resource that you get from dungeons and delves just completing dungeon completing delves you get a new resource that is going to be the astral echoes and the other way to obtain it is from the legendary tome which is going to give you 5000 per week and this legendary tome you get it from the store now you're going to have the astral echoes which is going to unlock this well you can just get yourself celestial sphere celestial spheres are going to be the resource used to get yourself the nodes Check the test server, check my latest live stream where I went over all of them one by one. Yeah, it essentially means that it's going to make some interesting little builds for different types of players. You know, for me, I will personally want to go for like more movement speed because for the most part, I just run around dungeon grinding. You can just see all of the nodes right here, some of the stuff that it will just, uh, you can just use to improve upon your grinding and whatnot. So, all of these things is going to be excellent for like new players and mid players because these are just stats for free essentially for your whole account anyways there's going to be like i just mentioned i already explained how to get the minor notes now there's going to be the major notes every single major note with the exception of this one for some reason is going to cost constellation keys constellation keys is going to be an item that you get uh, from the store it will cost either 130 credits or it's going to cost uh, 1300 cubits that's probably the only way that you obtain constellation keys and that's essentially going to be how it is like it's unfortunate the, the way that it's only store based the way that you unlock constellation key because those are going to be used to unlock all of these major nodes as far as I know, the major nodes are permanent. So according to the patch notes. So it's going to have this unlock all the time. So once you unlock them once, you don't need to unlock them again. But I'm pretty sure if you do reset, they're going to be inactive until you actually just have the requirements to actually just make them active once again. But for the most part, I'm pretty sure these are just going to be a one-time thing. You buy them once. And you get them permanently and so you don't have to do anything once again so with all that being said all of this stuff that you actually see right here going to be costing either constellation key like i just mentioned you get them from the store and yeah that's essentially going to be everything um you can reset your whole grid by just using one constellation key uh right here it was said the reset start shard it's going to pretty much just give you all of your uh celestial sphere it didn't give me any of my celestial sphere because i actually did uh do the reset on the test server and currently right now is bugged and you can and you are going to end up losing all of your celestial sphere so yeah that's definitely something to keep a note of right now in day one version but but yeah it's supposed to be giving you all of your celestial spheres back so you can actually just uh, reorganize your like everything which can be quite nice 
And yeah, one last thing before I actually just move on from these uh, is going to be that this is how you unlock the Bale Fire Dragon Egg Fragment. There's three new dragons. And the Balefire uh, Dragon Egg is going to be one of the three new dragons. I, I do believe this is the only ancestral dragon. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, this is going to be how you unlock the uh, one of the three new dragons. You need 30 fragments, by the way, to get this dragon. Uh, according to some players, you can actually just get this one from Golden Dragon Effigy. But when I actually do check right here on my uh ancestral dragon this is an ancestral dragon right here so yeah you can actually see the stats on this dragon right here is like thousand maximum health one into crit head plus the magic fine and then there's going to be the legendary dragons the other two dragons is a thousand base max health five crit damage five stability 50 magic fine a thousand max health three crit damage three jump and 50 magic fine. and those are going to be the three new dragons two of them are legendary which you can get them from golden dragon effigy one of the other dragons, as you probably could tell, is going to be Caprian, which is uh, one of the two legendary dragons. You get the fragments from over here. You can actually just see and read out for yourself. Uh, you can get them from the Star Shard, so the area that I was at. From the Depths of the Angler, which is essentially the Star Shard, but for fishing, which I'll get more into that in a bit. And the Depths of the Angler, which is once again uh, related to fishing. The Celestial and Mark Water Mark, which is the two NPCs, the Celestial, which you get right here. Mark Water Mark is going to be downstairs. But yeah, this is essentially everything that you need to know in regards to the star shard and everything for this this is extremely good for like newer players uh especially like it's good for everyone but especially newer players and mid game players are going to see the biggest benefit from this because it is that increase and that could be a huge huge difference for your grinding prowess so anyways let me just go before i actually go into the fishing uh i will go all the way down here you can actually just see there's going to be the three new dragons. Um, it's going to cost 12 fragments for Caprian, uh, 100 fragments for uh, Aquarian, or Aquarian, which is the one of the new fishing mount, um, which you can craft both of the dragons are right here. Like always, you can just read out the description, pause the video, read out the description yourself. The description literally tells you how to get uh, everything uh, with the exception of this one. This one you get it from collecting rare fishes. And that's how you're going to get uh, essentially everything. Pause the video at any moment so you can actually just see. Now, let's start talking about thing that I don't like a lot. And that's where everyone is at. Because, yeah, that's the biggest grind out of this update. And that is essentially fishing. Fishing has been not overhaul. It's something different. Uh, like, let's just say this is just imagine there is more grinding to fishing if you don't like fishing then this is going to be something that you are definitely not going to like so obviously you can actually just see the depths of the angler depths of the angler is essentially the account base star chart whatever unlike the star chart you can unlock everything here the star chart you only unlock 40 because of your the limited amount of celestial sphere this one you can actually just unlock everything everything right here it is it will cost you uh resources that you can actually just get them whenever you want most of the things that you actually just get them right here from like the trophies uh of the depths the keeps of the depths is just going to be like the major increases so everything that is like the big node right here is going to cost keys of the depths and the small one is going to cost trophy of the depths which you can get them all right here from the npc and yeah, that's essentially going to be uh, everything on this part of fishing. But yes, fishing is ex pretty much exactly the same thing. You throw down a fishing rod and you wait for like a minute <laughs> to, to get one boot. Couple of things that you need to keep in mind. Obviously, of course, there's going to be the depths of the angler. I already explained uh, how to get everything right here. This is how you also get more Caprian fragments uh, right here. And you can actually also get some allies and such. Fishing. What are going to be all of the new stuff added with fishing? So with fishing, you can actually just see right here. There's going to be recipes as well. So recipes are going to be uh, items that you can buy from Saltwater Sam's. Which you can actually just have them right here. Unlock the recipes 
and the recipe will allow you to just cache fishes from pools or whatnot. Like for example, this will go into any fishing and you are going to cache an uncommon fish from any of the pools uh, across board, like across trove. This one is going to be for water and yada yada yada. You get the point. So these are going to be the fishing recipes that you're going to end up using to get yourself the new fishes. There's a lot of new fishes. There's like 20 or 30 fishes. It's ridiculous. There's a lot. There's going to be a lot of new stuff added right here. So fishing is going to be slightly different. And by slightly different, I mean it's almost exactly the same thing, but they added a new pay to win method of actually just fish really, really quickly, which is unfortunate. And obviously, according to this thing that if you do check the notes, there's going to be stuff that will allow you to just fish a little bit faster. But obviously you need the trophies of the depths, which of course is gone right here which is gotten you by getting mark of the angler and mark of the angler you get them by fishing yeah it is it's an extremely long and tedious process let me just tell you that much the mark of the angler and just getting all the things to get everything is is absolutely ridiculous if you don't like if you think like grinding fifteen thousand fishes this is probably going to be just as bad if not even worse to actually just get everything right here because once again the marks of like the trophies or the mark of the angler are not 100 guaranteed uh, to actually just get them for every single fish you get them sometimes and <laughs> that is a bit a pretty big problem considering that if you want to unlock like keys of the depths look at how much that you actually need let's just say you need thirty thousand of them that's easily well past thirty thousand fishes just to get all of the keys of the depth and same with this one this is twenty-five thousand to get all five keys of the depth this is ten thousand just to get all of these and not to mention that you need two thousand plus times 29 just to get all of them and once again you don't get them 100 percent of the time from fishing this is just absolutely horrible yeah and obviously you use those marks to get the uh the trophies just to unlock all of the nodes which obviously the nose will not only give you some extra stats as well so yeah this means that they will give you more stats uh, as well they will also uh, allow you to just fish a little bit faster uh, and just get more of the resource so yeah anyways and that's essentially the basics of the mechanics in regards to fishing now fishing is going to you can fish at any moment even without a fishing lure so yeah you can just like i don't have any fishing well i do have some fishing lures but they work a little bit differently but yeah i don't have any fishing lure active and i can still technically just what the hell uh, i can still technically just fish fishing lures how they work now is going to be a consumable so you can actually just see the fishing lure right here and if I just use it, now I have 40 lures. So it means that it's just going to work like any other lure and it's going to give you all of the fishes. But yeah, it, the mechanics is still the same thing. It still takes like forever to actually just get any fishes. So let me just go into the drown world so you can actually see. It's the same thing that you expect from regular fishing. You throw down a, a, the fishing lure and you stay there for like 30 seconds and just, just to get one fish. Before actually just moving on right here, let me just find myself a fishing pool, which is going to be a new fishing area that you can just unlock all of the brand new fishes. So the pools are going to look like this. It's just going to look like a bunch of little fishes just jumping around and whatnot. So yes, this is what we like, they like to call a fishing pool. This is where you unlock all of the new fishes. And same with here, you can actually just see there is fishing pools for each of uh, the liquids the main liquids so water lava plasma and chocolate all of them actually have a uh, fishing pools which the water is obviously blue the lava the fishes are red the plasma the fishes are green and the chocolate the fishes are pink all you gotta do is just throw down the stupid fishing lure i think i even missed because you need to be extremely precise for some reason to actually just get the the proper one to actually just start getting in you can actually just see it's good old-fashioned fishing this is how slow it is so yeah it's just going to take forever to actually just get at least one fish here i am gameplay 
just waiting, just waiting. And you can actually just see, by the way, with the lure in the top left. There you go, got my fish. And there you go, I got a new fish. And right here, one of the brand new rare fishes, which you can just look collected for canned food. You can just get the ancient scale and it's going to give you like the premium uh, canned food and you can actually just see all of your canned food all the way i believe is right here so yeah these are the canned fish the canned fish are going to be a uh, stuff that you use to cook uh, food which i'm going to assume the food is going to give you buffs for fishing the other way to actually obtain fishes really fast is the pay to win method by using the master's angler fishing net the master's angler fishing net is going to be like a sponge or something like that, a throwable item. This costs 50 credits per net and it is a one-time use. So you literally just throw it down and you get five fishes immediately. So yes, this will give you five fishes immediately and it will cost 50 credits per throw. So yes, and there's no way for you to actually just craft it. And yes, you can actually just see right there it's five every single time and you can just keep throwing them down i as far as i know they don't count towards the fishing batch so yeah that's something that you need to keep in mind but yeah that's essentially how you actually just get uh the nets and fish a little bit faster and once again it costs credit to actually just get them in the first place and there's so many fishes that you need to grind that it's not even funny and this is something that i will say i really really genuinely don't like because I don't like fishing. The problem with me with fishing is going to be this. This. That's your gameplay. That's literally all you do. And the fact that you need thousands upon thousands upon thousands to all oh, these just to get everything. And if you didn't realize, I didn't get any marks from the two nets and the fish that I just got. So the marks aren't, aren't even that common. And you need thousand upon thousand of them to actually just unlock everything. And this is definitely something that just don't like. Sorry to say, if any of you really like any of this update, good on you. And I got a fragment. Yes, this is how you unlock one of the three new dragons, the fragments. It's from Fishing Pool, so this is where you unlock the, the dragon. But anyway, this is why I personally don't like about fishing. It's just so incredibly slow and painful for you to actually just do it this and there's so many things in this game that you have to do well you don't have to do but you can do and pretty much canceling everything just to do this and before you say oh yes but there's gathering day but yeah you have to wait until one specific day on the week for you to actually just get faster fishes rather than just having having this you know by default uh, I don't know. I, I really genuinely don't like this part of the update. It's just extremely slow, extremely boring. And the fact that you need to do thousands upon thousands of them is something that I really don't like. Once again, this is day one on the test server, so everything is subject to change. That's pretty much everything for this update. Yeah, there isn't a whole lot of new things to essentially talk about. Yeah, that's essentially the whole update. The update is literally fishing and the star shard which the star chart really really good really great idea outside of that like the fishing is just something that i don't like I, i'm just going to be 100 percent honest with you i just don't like it's just this for so many hours i mean it, it can be fun if you do talk with a lot of other players it's like talking in chat or nonsense at the same time this takes way too many hours again i haven't even gotten a mark as of the time and of this video well i have gone some marks but as of the time that i'm recording right here i've been already recording for 24 minutes and out of those 24 minutes at least seven minutes have been related to fishing out of everything I, I still haven't gotten one mark i've only gotten like new fishes and whatnot and i do believe the mark you get them from any source so you don't need to throw them into a pool necessarily so Anyways, that's essentially going to be everything for me. Thank you for watching. Thank you for as always. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Again, once again, this is on the test server, so everything is still subject to change. Test that out for yourself. Give feedback to the developers to see if they can actually just, you know, fix some of the stuff that are just completely bad and just make fishing a little bit more enjoyable. And instead of actually just going and saying, oh, yeah, no, this is completely terrible. I'm not going to play troll. 
if you really care about the game just please just give some feedback uh on this and see if you can actually just if we can actually just see some changes uh, as of the time of recording this turkey topic probably is going to be next week we already saw all of the three new store packs that is going to be from turkey topia so snowfest and probably renewers there's three new store packs right now and all of them costing 3000 credits before you ask how much do they cost and all of those are probably going to be from all of the new events uh turkey topia probably is going to be next week uh with all that being said make sure to leave a like subscribe for more content like this and like always, I hope to see you guys next time. Take care and keep on hunting. See ya.